Uh, so MongoDB is a is a type of the non SQL database, and specifically, it is using the document store. So document store means that they are using the JSON document. So the basic you need in MongoDB um, uh, of the dataset is JSON. So JSON stands for the JavaScript object notation. So that is now a very popular um, format that we store the data. And initially, MongoDB stored the JSON directly. So it's a, it's a in the early versions that they store the data. It's, MongoDB is just a native JSON database. Uh, later on, MongoDB stored JSON in a binary format, so which they call it JSON. Okay, so they are still using the JSON format. However, so the structure is still in JSON, but in a binary format, so that uh, can we can save the space, so that is called JSON. And uh, a JSON, sorry, JSON. And the JSON is very efficient for encoding and also decoding uh, for uh, for net transmissions. Uh, so if you take uh, if you took the J, uh, the the Python class, you can simply think JSON as a dictionary, okay, uh, as a dictionary that in Python. So it's you can simply treat you you can even treat JSON once loaded in Python as a dictionary, and um, and MongoDB can also create indexes on any document field. So, um, so we can still have index that can speed up the queries. So let's see one example. So here, this is the one document. We can say it is um, declared declared by a pair of this curly bracket. And within this curly bracket, we have the key and also value, key value pairs. So for the values, we the value can be a string, okay, can be another string. So here in this document, we have the first key value pair, the second key value pair, the third, and the fourth, fifth, and sixth. So we have six key value pairs. So in this uh, JSON document. And the document can be a nested. So we can see for this address, it is another JSON document. Which we have the key value, key value, key value pairs. So the document, the value of the document can be another document. It can be string, it can be another document, it can be numbers, and also it can be a list. Okay, so here we can see the value for this enterprise um, key is a list. Okay, and also this is another list, but here we are using the list. To represent the geospatial coordinates, so that is a document. So documents are, are following the JSON format, so that MongoDB organizes data in those JSON documents. And how are the data organized? So first, within the MongoDB database, we do have databases. So the database is the top level container for collections of data. So you can have a database which can have multiple collections, okay? And within each single collection, you can have multiple uh, documents. So the collection is something that is similar to tables. So you can create a database in MongoDB. Within a database, you can create uh, multiple collections. And within the collection, you can insert multiple JSON documents. And as the relational database, the index is also a special data structure that supports efficient queries. So if we compare the relational database and also MongoDB, so database, so both uh, type of, both have the database concept. So database is a top level of the data container. In relational database, we organize data into different tables, which is equivalent to the collection in the MongoDB. And in MongoDB, each single entity will be one document, which is similar to the row in the relational database. So you remember that in relational database, each row is one entity. And in MongoDB, each document represents one entity. And both uh, can have index, okay? 
And the relational database is called relational database because we can join multiple tables together. So relational database is great at uh, joining multiple tables together. For MongoDB, uh, you can, I mean, you can uh, query the information across multiple collections. However, so that is not the best practice. So it is not supposed that you you maintain multiple collections and you use some common keys to join multiple collections together. So it is not the best practice. Normally in MongoDB, we try to keep um, everything in one collection. Okay, so we try to keep everything in one collection and we'll see that later. Uh, so in relational database, we have foreign keys to represent the relational relations among tables like one to one, one to many, many to many, etc. Uh, in MongoDB, we have we have something that's similar like the reference. However, it is not designed to be very efficient as foreign keys. So that's why that in relational database we support multi-table transactions. Um, however, in MongoDB, we tend to keep everything. On, a, on the same collection. So we, we tend to have the single document transactions. Okay, so let's see how the MongoDB organized data. So for one-to-one -one relationship, we simply put all the entities in one document, but we put that one into separate key value pairs. Okay, so separate key value pairs. Uh, so for example, if we are talking about the blog posts and each single blog has a title, so the relation will be one-to-one -one relationship. And in MongoDB, we will organize the data like this. So we put everything in one document, but we use two keys. So the two key value pairs. So first will be the title key that contains the value of the title. The second will be the body key that contains the value of the body. Okay, so that is one-to-one -one relationship. Uh, for one-to-many relationship, so for example, each single block may receive multiple comments from the viewers. So in that case, the relationship between block and comments will be one-to-many relationship. And in that case, we are going to put those uh, multiple comments into a list. Okay, into a list. So we can see that for this block, we have title, we have body. However, this block have multiple comments. So we put each single comment as a document. So that is the comment one, and this is the comment two. So now we have, suppose we have two comments. So that is those are saved into two separate documents. And we put those two documents into a list. Okay, so if you have third documents, you can just simply insert into this list. And if you have multiple documents, you can just continue insert into that comments. So that is a way that we handle one-to-many relationship. Okay, uh, let's see uh, another example. So. For this example, this is an example from our previous lectures. So for example, um, when we handle the relationship between teachers and also courses, so we know that relationship is one to many relationship. So we put the primary key of the one side as foreign key on the M side. Okay, so that is how we handled the one to many relationship in this relational data. However, if we want to handle that one in the, the MongoDB, so we put we will use one collection instead of using two tables. So in MongoDB, we are using one collection. And then we use lists to store those multiple items. So for example, this is one example. So here, let's say, um, we are also um, talking about the professor information and also their courses that they are teaching. So here we have professor name and also email. And we have another key value pairs that is cost list. And within this cost list, 
Each single cost is another JSON document. Is another document. We have the cost um, ID and a cost name. Those multiple documents are saved as in this list. Okay, so those multiple documents are saved on this list. So that is how we handle one-to-many relationships. So you can, can you can now you can compare that the difference in handling those type of relationships.